Hello ladies, so today I have created this beautiful double wing liner look for you. It's a glitter liner. If you want to see how I got it, please keep watching. To begin with the face, I am going to start with color correcting. I have used my favorite Derma color corrector. So around my eyes and just blending all of that out. Around my eyes, in the corners of my nose and around my lips. That's where I have maximum pigmentation. So yes, just using my oil brush and blending that all out. Then for foundation, I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Matte Polish Foundation. This is a very lightweight foundation. Uh, it's got good coverage, medium to buildable coverage. You can build it up. So um, I love this foundation, especially for the day. Uh, beautiful foundation. So just uh, dotting it on my face and then blending it with my oval brush. For concealer and highlight, I'm using my NYX Gotcha Covered Concealer. Now this concealer, like I always say, is very, very creamy. And it's uh, very high on uh, consistency so use little it goes a long way just blending all of that out again with my oval brush you guys know the drill so just doing it a little fast uh, to save up some time then we'll set all of that with my l'oreal matte Magic compact powder now this powder also goes a long long way so it's beautiful for setting i use it for setting i normally don't use compact powders for anything else but i use them uh, for setting only those ones which are sheer not ones with a very pigmented okay for the contour i'm using my favorite morphe palette using the uh, last two shades and just contouring in the hollows of my cheeks contouring lately has been the favorite thing for me to do so yeah contouring in the hollows of my cheeks on both sides so you should pout so there is where your holes your hollows follow so it's easy for you to contour bring it from the sides of your ears uh, towards your lip and don't come very close that's the trick to contour also while contouring your nose you want to contour in the inner corners of your eyes you want to uh, end towards your eyebrows so that's the trick uh, so also my forehead because i have a very broad forehead so wanted to look a little small and the jawline cancelling out a little bit of the double chin and yeah that's my contour thing and a little bit below uh, the lip looks beautiful then just using uh, the little warmer color from the same palette and just going on to bronze my face because I like to add a little warm uh, color to my face. It brings back the natural color of the face. So it's yeah, just going back on the place that I want to. Next, just doing my eyebrows. Again, you've seen me do this so many times. But yes, uh, it depends on my mood, how I want my eyebrows. Going very natural again. Just drawing a little dark in the ends of my eyebrows and uh, flicking like a pencil uh, in the start. That's how I like my eyebrows, usually. Uh, light to dark then just setting all the places I have highlighted with the translucent powder also placing a lot more beneath the eyes because we are going to use, be using glitter and I'm gonna have fallout so I want uh, something to hold on to using the makeup revolution uh, palette and picking up that highlighting color and putting it right on my brow line lately using matte shades have been my uh, thing for the brow bone highlight then taking the, the light brown shade i'm sorry these guys don't have names so i can't put names and using that in my crease taking a fluffy blending brush and just placing that in my crease lightly this eyeshadow routine is the simplest i have done never done such a simple eyeshadow routine so yeah it's just two shades and you're done so a highlight color and a lip color so yeah just uh, placing that in my uh, not a highlight color sorry a crease color and the lip color so yeah placing that in the crease Building it up a little by little, and then I'm taking this Miss Clay eyeshadow. It's a brown eyeshadow, mind you, it is pigmented. And taking a sh uh, flat shading brush and just placing the color on the entire lid. That's an easy job. So yeah, again, it's a little pigmented. Uh, not a little pigmented. It's pretty pigmented. So work with less amount. Always work with less amount, no matter what eyeshadow you're using, because you can always build up, but you can never take away. So work in less portions, and it will. Uh, do the job fine. Then I'm taking that ashy brown uh, eyeshadow from the same palette and patting that down on the brown I used before. And yes, there are some harsh edges, don't worry about that. We will blend it all. So just patting that color on and then taking the blending brush and just blending up, out all the edges. You want to have a smooth looking eye it should all look like one nothing should stand out individually so i'm just blending it all out just uh, adding on a little more color 
and then using the same brush and uh, uh, placing it on the lower lash line you want to balance out your upper uh, eye and the lower eye so it's not going completely inwards placing most of the color on the outside on the outer corner of the eye and just pulling whatever is left on my brush inside then just drawing a winged eyeliner now yeah the wing is a little important to be precise take your time and wing eyeliners come with practice so you need to practice so uh, create a wing of your desire i'm using my l'oreal uh, super intense to create that line then i use this uh, hyper gloss uh, liner from maybelline it's in the color gold and draw a wing above the wing I, uh, I drew before so very carefully just draw a nice wing above the wing you have drawn before go slow take your time it takes a little patience to do this but it looks fabulous once it's done so yeah just drawing a wing above the wing I drew before uh, one tip is keep your eyes open when you're drawing the wing you don't want to have them closed one eye closed and one eye open because when your eyes are open the shape is pretty different so keep your eyes open looking in the mirror and then draw your liner that's how you will achieve a better shape so once i'm done with the liner i'm going to take some loose glitter on an angled brush uh, this one's from miss claire and it's gold and i'm just placing it where i place my gold liner uh, this just amps up the entire look because it's glitter it looks fabulous of course you get a lot of glitter liners in the market you can use those but uh, I had this available so I wanted to put this to use and I feel a loose glitter is just much 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 more intense than uh, the glitter liners but there are beautiful glitter liners available in the market so yeah there I am just placing glitter on uh, the gold liner I had applied before go very slow and take your time while you do this you don't want to have glitter all over your face because it's very hard to take glitter off your face once it's done and you want to be precise because it should look like a nice line so take as much as time take a little bit of take very little glitter pat it off and then put it on your eye and that's how it looks and you want to uh, create a balance between both your eyes because of course it's glitter so you don't want one looking thick one looking light so yeah once i'm done with the glitter i will go and correct uh, the black liner we used so not to worry so yeah there it is uh, I'm using the Lacme liquid liner uh, to just uh, redraw my wing and just to balance everything out just to give uh, smooth clean edges to both the liners then just curling my lashes ever so slowly you need to wait for the liner to dry and then curl your lashes and then mascara uh, wear your mascara from the roots to the top and that's how it's going to give you a better payoff and yeah and also your bottom lash li lashes because you cannot leave out your bottom lashes uh, then i just took uh, this pencil from uh, faces and just placed it underneath on my bottom lash line and then just tight lining my eyes with the maybelline kajal and then uh, buffing off all that glitter which i had as fallout clearing off my face then for blush i'm using two blushes one is from makeup revolutions and the other one is from essence Not a blush person, but it has to be used just to balance up my face. So I go very lightly on my blush, just to give definition to the cheekbones and just to flush back color. Then using my highlighter, I love this highlighter on the high points of my face. You know the drill. We've done this so many times. But yes, on the high points of my face, I'm using my nose between my brows, on the forehead, on the chin, and the cupid's bow. I love my hair. Uh, I decided to go in for a nude lipstick, so this is like a liquid lipstick. Liquid lipsticks uh, give you a very good pair of say avoid lip liners then. And yes, in the end a setting spray. And while this spray will set, I will put in some more highlighter because you can always have a highly highlighted face. And yes, that's all. And you will be able to see the finished look in a minute. And there it is fabulous glamorous edgy looks super better for a wedding better for a date night just looks fab i hope you guys enjoyed it please do like my videos and my tutorials and please do comment below and until next time bye bye take care i will see you soon